I have to say, you know what, I, all right, everyone. I have to say, and this isn't gonna come as a shock to any of the people that I know who actually ride out here or watch my videos, because I, I like to think I know most of you in, in some way or another, even if it's just through YouTube, but that most of the people that I ride with, most of the people I watch, ride the DRZ 400, which is an excellent dual sport. I'm not gonna take that away. Look at me, I'm riding on a KLR, and I'm telling you that the DRZ is awesome. That's, that's just how that goes. In the last time we were out here, uh, Richard ended up riding my bike as a rescue because we had completely broken off the left handlebar. So that gave me the opportunity to ride his bike, which I'm surprised he let me ride since he had just watched me destroy mine on the way out there. So thank you, and what the hell were you thinking? Just... Yeah, there you are up there waiting for me, Richard. I'm talking about you. It's kind of funny. Yeah, so what, you know, what the hell were you thinking? You, you just saw me destroy my bike. Not, not intentionally, mind you. Very cautiously riding. Any way you look at it. Thank you, and I got to ride your bike, and you, you had some trials, tires, and MT something. You told me what they were like five times. I feel bad asking again. You probably comment in this video if I ever post it, just what it is. But yeah, they were awesome. I I honestly was not afraid on your bike, with the exception of trying to stop because it is ridiculously tall. I. I <laughs> I remember you dropped my bike once, and I tried to stop to help you, and I couldn't get off your bike. That is that is my one and only complaint for that DRZ. It, it felt amazing. I took I took it through snow and tighter corners than I dreamed of taking this game this thing through. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm still a new one. I was I was definitely snow skiing through a lot of the thicker, or what you guys would consider normal snowfall, but still, just awesome, man. Really enjoyed it. And honestly, if I had to do it again, if I could find one at a good enough price, I would probably have bought a DRZ. You know, I'm just saying, the KLR came in to me at a awesomely low price that it was difficult to pass up. But yeah, if, if I had found a DRZ at the same price range, I, I would have jumped on it. Which does bring up an interesting other question. I, uh... I love my KLR, make no mistake, I will likely never get rid of it for the same reason I'm still driving my 2003 Volkswagen, because it has no resale value. But, I went to a friend's wedding last weekend, maybe, maybe two, I don't remember now, in Casper, Wyoming. And it was a beautiful, beautiful day. I wanted to ride my bike, I did. But the, uh, the route there is all highway, it's I-25, and in Wyoming, some of that route is 85 miles an hour, which would have just meant um, my bike wiggling everywhere on the highway for roughly four hours on the way to a wedding, and then getting there and being sweaty with white knuckles and uh, you know shaking and wanting the open bar, which was awesome, by the way, thank you. Probably drinking the open bar dry and then not being able to ride home that night. So, you know, maybe I need to consider something more road trip worthy. I could take on longer trips like that. And no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not a cruiser guy. But something like that, and then I. Well, you know, if I'm going to do that, then I should probably get something smaller that doesn't feel like I'm riding an elephant through the trails. Wow, that's... Yeah, I think I'm the first. I don't think anyone has ever said that riding a KLR is like riding an elephant. Maybe it's just the way I ride it, but... You know, if it fits... <laughs> this thing feels like I'm riding an elephant most of the time. It's just short a big trunk. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like a lot of the smaller bikes. If I'm getting a 
bike dedicated to riding off-road, it, it would not be a DRZ. I, like I said, I, I want one. If I were going to get one to replace the KLR, I would get one. But I'm not going to buy one in addition to the KLR. KLR could still be a nice commuter for me to and from work. But the, you know, the DRZ would still do it too since, yeah, I drive to work on a highway, but it's, what, what are we crawling along most of the time? Because it's rush hour, both directions, it's the only time I'm going to work. And it's only 30 some, 30, 40 miles, depending on which route I have to take. So maybe it'd work out just fine. But I'd want to give it better tires for off-road, which would inhibit my highway riding ability on it, which would defeat the whole purpose of getting it the, to begin with. So I guess at the end of the day, I should probably just look for something smaller. Oh, it, well, but geez, like I said, I'm, I'm driving that 2003 Volkswagen. So if I'm gonna get something that's dirt dedicated, possibly not even registered on the road, well, then I gotta look into a truck. Oh man, I've always wanted a truck. I mean, really, I mean, I keep buying cars, but I'm a homeowner. And I, you know, as a homeowner, you, you need to fix things in your home occasionally. And let me tell you, it is difficult to fit plywood and lumber in a hatchback, even though you can fold the seats down. I, I will give you that concession, it is possible. It's a pain in the ass too. So maybe I need a truck. But that, that brings up another cool thing, because I have been looking at trucks. Not that I can afford them, but I've been looking for years and years. I mean, for the longest time I was sold on the Tacoma. And I still, I, I like the Tacoma, but I also want something with a diesel engine. So unless they bring the awesome world market version of the Tacoma, the Hilux, to the US with a four-cylinder turbo diesel, that's not gonna happen. So what, what then? Well, Chevy just released their, I don't know if they've actually released it yet, but they're going to release their four liter or four cylinder inline turbo diesel. And I'm considering that. So as I talking about, oh yeah, so I did a truck and you know, Chevy looks like they're they have released that new inline four turbo diesel, capable of towing like what, 7,800, 8,000 pounds, I don't remember, something cool. And that'd be kind of nice, especially if I wanted to tow a bike out on it. That, you know, I mean, that'd be pretty cool. 